Yuzuki and Harukaze spotted an Allied convoy in the early morning hours of March 7th. The two destroyers moved to engage all four merchant ships. Thankfully, they were unescorted. The Allied troop ship was the only armed vessel, and she was indeed armed to the teeth. She put up a respectable fight, but it was sent down to the bottom by noon that day. Our float planes continued to scour the area for any sign of Allied task forces or convoys. Later in the afternoon, a Jake launched from Miyoko spotted a large formation of warships, at least six of them. Kama-1 would move to engage. Hello everybody, Wolfpack here, and welcome back to another exciting episode of War on the Sea as we continue our Imperial Japanese campaign. Our task force here has encountered an allied task force off the coast of Celebes. The T is already crossed and they are quite close. We're going to see them peeking out through the fog here. And this is the same task force that we detected previously with a Jake. Our Jake is way down here to the south now. I'm going to have it move all the way up. We are engaging everyone in the line and... Yeah, might as well engage this cruiser first in the, the lead. Torpedoes would be an excellent choice in this situation. Tenryu, who are you firing upon? That one, which is a merchant ship. That is a absolute waste of your, your abilities. Do not do that. Engage the cruiser. Cruiser is big and scary, so we'll fire at her, and my destroyers are already just getting hit. Start breaking. Start laying smoke. It's just destroyers, like, my destroyers are just made of glass. Okay, turn away and get out of here. There we go. Steady up. Tenry is engaging. And there we go. Already getting some good hit solutions at 50% here. Torpedoes are not in arc at the moment. What about for you? 80% solution here. Okay, let's turn and get our torpedo launchers and art because I would love to fire off some fish, increase our speed as well. All right, stop, fire narrow spreads, please. Continue to fire armor piercing, 79% solution. Looking good, we are taking damage. Damage report, okay, have a small fire there. Right our midships. Okay, torpedo time. All right, only our starboard launchers, all of them. Eight kilometers out. There's a the question, do I manual fire? Yeah, let's go ahead and manual fire. Something like that, please. Okay, launchers are swinging out. Let them have it. Torpedoes away. All right, good. That will hopefully come in handy. Now it is possible that she is laying torpedoes of her own. On. Start getting some heads here. She is not on fire. She is moving at top speed and she looks just fine. No way. Come on. We just continue to bracket her. I need that cruiser sent down to the bottom. Okay. You, my friend. Damage report. Minor fires. You're engaging four. Now start laying on. Start engaging that one, please. All right, Tenryu. Let's see, 56% solution. Not great, I'm gonna be honest with you. All right, our midships. Torpedoes, six degree spread, manual fire. Uh, off in that direction. All right, send it. How's the leading cruiser looking? Just fine. Okay, I just saw a hit there. We are hitting her occasionally. Lots of these hits seem to be just really close, so we're probably causing some damage below the water line, causing flooding, which is ideal. This other Dutch cruiser is going to be an issue. Let's start targeting her. Begin working on her in place. Miyoko, oh no. Make sure we're working on these fires. Minor damage. There we go, she's smoking at long last, come on. Secondary guns. 
engaging as quickly as possible. Contact four. Okay, we have a Clemson out here. A couple of Clemsons. Obviously, this is a cruiser duel at the moment. We got to eliminate this light cruiser. That thing hurts. My goodness. Debating switching to eight. HE might get some more results with it, but I'd be surprised. Switch over to HE, fire a little bit of HE at her, cause some fires because she is looking just fine. I don't know what caliber gun she has here. This one's already caught fire. Yeah, but our goal right now, we want to cause some fires. That would be lovely. These torpedoes have a good chance of messing with this formation. Uh, I may have overestimated their speed, though. We can uh, fire off some more torpedoes with our destroyers. Tenryu is engaging, too. There we go. Yeah, fire's already starting. Love to see it. There we go. That something just happened on that ship. Okay, switch targets. She's close. Begin engaging her. Perfect. Make sure Miyoko, how's your fire looking? All right, we are stopping them nicely. Secondary guns engaging. Come on broadside to it all right switch back to armor piercing after the salvo still just bracketing her even with the narrow spread okay one more salvo i wanted to start some fires but it's just not there we go all right switch back to ap it is a light cruiser, but I think she's pretty heavily armored. There we go. Yeah. Splashes all around. This Dutch cruiser doesn't seem to be too much of a problem. This torpedo salvo is probably going to cause some problems for our leading friend here. She's got some internal fires cooking. There we go. That was good. Multiple hits on target. One of our destroyers has been hit catastrophically by the leading cruiser. The cruiser's just engaging the destroyer, so you know what? More power to her. Torpedoes are racing in. Do not be a dud, please. Come on. She may thread it. Yep, yeah, looks like she has... Oh, gosh. She evaded nicely. Our destroyer here, though, has just fired off some torpedoes in defiance. Miyoko still engaging that one and she just fired torpedoes no these are these are our torpedoes i can't believe she is still in relatively good shape she has taken hit after hit and she just looks fine this is one tough ship miyoko needs to turn we gotta turn here Oh, man. Only redeeming factor is she is engaging this, just focusing fire on this, uh, on this destroyer. Hit after hit. From zero damage, she's still just racing ahead. Tenryu's looking good. Miyoko's looking good now. I'm thinking... I'm thinking it's time to start firing at number two, Miyoko. Engage this Dutch light -like cruiser. She's close. Just send it. Just fire as quickly as you can. Shoot AP and blow this thing out of the water. Along with this Clemson class. This other ship, she's just far away. Not much of a factor. We're going to just run away from her. I don't know what that thing's made of. But it is tough. Like, let's see. Let me see the report here. Okay, she has heavy damage. She has heavy damage, so there is that. But we are going to move and try to fire off more torpedoes. 
four degree spread fire at number one miyoko crack open java how hard can it be she's right there come on all of our guns are an arc indeed they are java does not look good the clemson is another target it looks like the clemson has taken some strays <laughs> And uh, she's not looking too good back there either. Java's entire deck is a light. Tenryu. Oh, no. Damage control. Start lining smoke. Time to go. Break off for a bit. Um, engage the Clemson. Engage the Clemson. All right. Miyoko, doing your job nicely. All these other torpedoes may cause problems for this Clemson back here. I don't, I don't know where she thinks she's going. Okay, we've lost our destroyer, which... Oh, wow. Magazine explosion as she rolls over. Goes down in dramatic fashion. Let's check on Java. Listing pretty heavily to port there. Let's see. Miyoko. Here's course this way. Pretty much, I just want everyone to get away from this one. <laughs> I think we'll be able to handle this northern section. We've divided their fleet up, which is good. We fired off a spread of torpedoes and... I think she may be eating it. This was our destroyer, and I think it was number four, who is now obviously going down. She was able to fire these off in defiance towards the target, and this looks like the best spread. Oh, at least two hits, I'm thinking. Come on. Come on. What the hell? That's probably a bug, <laughs> I'd say. Oh my gosh. The ship is invincible. Okay, good news. Java ain't looking good. He's pretty much done for. That is... That is unfortunate. Guess they were all duds. That's our roleplay reason, but man. Man, oh man. I mean, when we're losing ships like this, that's hard to... Uh, really just accept that being said let's make sure we're only working on the fires let's see is java about to eat one i think it's time to disengage here this is just not going in our direction there we go Java's still afloat, but not for much longer. I think these torpedoes will probably uh, not really hurt her. Tenryu. I just want to get her out of here relatively in relatively good shape. This is sure is getting out. She's doing just fine, which is good. Oh my gosh. Maybe. There we go. Fantastic. Java was struck and sunk. All right. We are... We're going to disengage, I think. Gonna try to engage these Clemsons, but... I think we need to initiate the retreat and get on out of here. Okay, we are clear to leave the combat area. We have heavy damage on our light cruiser. We lost a destroyer. Um, that being said, Java was sunk. Heavy damage on their cruiser. Zero flooding, which is peculiar. I wonder if that's part of uh, the bug here. Well, our task force is going to move away. We are going to drop off Tenryu for repairs. Um, my light cruisers are just cursed, it would seem. Um, Uyo 3 is moving in with troops, but that being said, Singapore 
is now completely occupied. The Allies have been kicked off. So this task force is going to move down and drop off their troops at Palembang. Well, we've found an Allied convoy and we are going to move to intercept it. Kama 1's moving south. I also have Miyoko coming down south as well. And then Tenryu and the Destroyer are going to move over. They need to go over here and we are going to release them for a repair to at Kuching. And down here, Uyo 4 is moving down to Dili. And I'm debating. I'm debating if I should just land here and then uh, use destroyer safari troops at Kofang. Because this is a neutral base and we can take the supply home. I think I'm going to do that. That may be the safer option. So let's go ahead and move to intercept these merchant ships and blow them out of the water. We have 16 command points, so us sinking all these ships is good and allows us to get more command points. Okay, destroyers, are you carrying cargo? You are not. Okay, the cow, you are going to swap positions. There we go. There we go. And yeah, that's how I want it. Begin. Start. And let's see what we got out there. Yep, couple of freighters way, way out there. Um, we may re-engage just to be a little bit closer. We'll see. We have re-engaged and closed in. Here is the Allied Task Force. A whole bunch of freighters. Chikuma is already engaging. Good. Let it rip. We'll have them all fire at will. Takao is training her guns, engaging the transport. I want to engage this leading cargo probably first. So Chikuma, I know you want to engage the platypus, but uh, it's probably best to engage the freighter with the guns. So we'll start shooting at her. We have been engaging the enemy convoy for a little while now, and one is already going down. We are now engaging the iron class, and uh, she is not looking good. Target number four is sinking there, and now just the platypus and SS iron remain. The platypus is armed, so to cow, yep, to cow's going for her. Good, start engaging that. We're going to get a good amount of command points from doing this as well, and we do want to start cutting off allied reinforcements to Java. That's the primary goal of taking Timor. I'm just trying to think of the best and safest way to do it. I'm thinking I will unload my troops at Dili in the north, and then use destroyers or warships, which are nice and fast, to move them uh, by night down south. I would like to have control of the airfield. I'm curious to see how this will go considering how close we are to Australia. Um, but yeah, that is a base I would certainly like to take. It is, uh, it was always fun just destroying merchant ships like this. It's cathartic after the previous engagement. Uh, the platypus starting to take on some damage here. She is lying smoke. Okay, iron sinking. Chikuma, begin firing at the platypus. And she has an internal fire. Let's check the report here. There we go, five command points gained from doing this. Probably six with the uh, this last ship sunk. I believe scouts also saw another convoy, so we will move to engage that. I do want to get Mikuma in this task force as well. All enemy ships are going down. Another successful engagement. Let's leave combat. And here we can see six command points gained. All targets sunk. Continue on. We saw that other task force off to the east or that other convoy. So we're going to move that way and just patrol these convoy lanes for the time being. I may also send, uh, we do have this commerce raider. I may send her around, but who knows? 
Okay, we are moving in. We are going to land at Dilly, which was originally Pork Portuguese Timor. Unload all of our cargo here, and there we go. It is all ours now. Good. I'm gonna keep all these troops here. That being said, I do want to take the supply back up north. We are going to move up to Ambon and bring more troops down. I have 200 men aboard these two destroyers. I'm going to land at Copang by night. These 200 men will be like a scouting force. We'll see how much uh, enemy activity is here, how many enemy troops are here, and what's going on. Uh, but that being said, how many troops are at Dilly now? 3,000. Yeah, I'm not too, uh, playing as the Empire of Japan, I'm not too concerned about the whole neutrality thing, you know? Um, what's going on here? Kama 2 has encountered something. Oof. Middle of the night. I don't like it. Could be a submarine. Let's take a look. Nothing on the horizon. Active sonar. Let's slow down. There's a submarine. I would like to blast it out of the water. We'll keep our ears open. Two submarines have been detected. We are moving to engage. There are torpedoes in the water. I can see their wakes right there on the surface. Okay, let's move to try to intercept here. Stop using active sonar. Oh gosh, that is quite the spread of torpedoes coming our way. Right there. Wow, and... Okay, I thought I saw a subsurfacing there, but no, it just appears to be... Torpedo wakes, my gosh. Keep moving in towards them. And move to avoid the torpedo wakes in the water. I would like to not be on the receiving end of a torpedo. Sonar reported that there were two American submarines. Oh, well, each of us will get, each warship here will get an opportunity. We have 12 depth charges here. How many back here? 30. Good. Torpedoes detected. Okay. All right, we can slow down. Slow down. Let's go 11 knots, reduce that flow noise, see if we can pick anything up. Turn on active sonar. There we go, got him. Way down here, she's pretty deep. And it looks like a second spread of torpedoes is back there. Doesn't look like it's going to be much of a factor. Porpoise class. Well, this is peculiar. There are three submarines in the area. Okay. Oh, plenty of opportunities here to depth charge them. Izuki is moving in from the north, and we are going to try... Yeah, let's try to go for number two, shall we? We are about to roll depth charges on the Porpoise class. Let's get ready. Stern depth charge rack ready. And right in front of her, fire. Reload. We'll fire another here. There we go. That looks pretty devastating to me. It's certainly gonna cause some issues for the Porpoise here. Looks like her screws are coming to a grinding halt. That is one destroyed submarine. All right. Good stuff. Coming in to engage the second porpoise here. Let's increase our speed, moving in at 17 knots. Then we'll proceed to engage target number three there. Sonar is reporting the sounds of a sinking submarine. The first porpoise is going down. Only two more to deal with. Lining up. Let's see, we'll drop a pattern of two. Come up right behind the target here. She is running, trying to get out of here. We can start targeting number three there. All right, looking good. Coming up alongside the target. 
She is not moving too quickly. All right, swing around. Put our stern over the target. And fire. There we go. Fire. That ought to do it. You know what? Fire one more, just for good measure. There we go. Depth charges in the water. Another good attack rond. And now let's move in for three. I do not think that porpoise is going to survive that. We are moving into Royal Charges on the last submarine, and it so happens to be 019, which saw much use in our previous series. Let's begin rolling. Hopefully she sails right on top of all of these depth charges here. We'll see, this may not be our best drop. We might need to re-engage, but hopefully it is good enough. There we go. That looked pretty darn close, if you ask me. And it looks like, once again, screws are coming to a halt. We'll see if she's taking on water and starts to sink. O19 blue ballast. She is rising rapidly. She's now at 17 meters. Let's have our guns. Get ready to engage here. 14 meters. And we have no ammo there. That's not good. There we go. We have ammo here. Get ready to open fire. Hold. Yeah, we have plenty of ammunition here. Let's see what's our depth, nine meters. Let's fire on that position. There she is, open fire. Please, 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 fire, fire, fire. There we go, engaging. Just the bow sticking out of the water, wow. Oh yeah, we forced her to surface, we're now engaging and it looks like she is going back down. <laughs> that did not take long. Well, that's another destroyed submarine, I'd say. Yep, there we go. She is going down. Well, folks, that is going to do it for today's video. I do hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to leave a like and comment, as it really does help out the channel. But until next time, this is Wolfpack345 signing off, and I will see you all on the next one.